Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a week ahead for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. We're just going to see what happens. We're going to start with the 12th, 12th through the 17th. We're going to see what we got. So what do we have for the 12th for Aquarius? And the 13th, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th. And an overall energy for Aquarius for the week ahead. The King of Wands. Now the King of Wands is a protector. Very creative, very intellectual, very decisive, very strong, very noble. The King of Wands is given to take action. Okay? So this is an action-oriented individual that is very strong, very wise, very smart. This is an older individual that has life experience behind their back very masculine energy may seem a little rigid may seem a little distant but very smart okay this person shows no weakness has a very tough exterior so we may have somebody here that is is very tough they look tough but they also have a big heart so keep that in mind um this is taking control. So we do have somebody that is going to be taking control this week. So on Tuesday, this is reckless behave behavior, foolishness, bad timing, heading for a fall. The definitely reckless energy with these two cards on Tuesday. So, you know, this is out of control. There could be a fight. This is negative. Um... Uh, boasting you could be dealing with a troublemaker somebody that is violent overly competitive and forceful there could be a sudden departure okay um, there is uh, recklessness on Tuesday now this is somebody is bad being at the wrong place at the wrong time perhaps on Tuesday it's just there something could happen this is very impulsive energy which could get somebody in trouble so you're going to want to um be careful okay i realize tuesday for some of you tuesday's half over but it's not over yet okay um we have a missed opportunity because of recklessness or somebody is getting themselves in trouble this is getting themselves in trouble. We, you could also be dealing with somebody on this day that doesn't re want responsibility and has a chip on their shoulder. Okay, not very spiritual. Not a not not very spiritual individual here. So I feel like Tuesday things could be a little out of control, and somebody could actually trip over something, fall, run into something. Um, you know, there's a need to slow down. Put it that way. Slow slow down slow down Tuesday two of wands reversed vert and the lovers so this is uh, indecisiveness fear of change restrictions deciding to go or deciding not to go being held back by a connection you may have a love connection but you're being held back by a decision a choice on Tuesday you may be reuniting with somebody or, or looking at somebody that you have a deep connection with maybe you meet up with this person or you connect with this person or you get together with this person and it but it's hard to move forward for some reason on Tuesday you may be deepening a bond with somebody but there's definitely fear of change staying put choosing the safety route instead of following your heart so I feel like on Tuesday you will probably be face to face with somebody that you are uh, connected this could be FaceTime even it could be FaceTime it doesn't have to be um, this could be actually face to face with this person um, but definitely needing to make a choice between two because this is a choice and this is a choice so you're going to be making a choice or, or thinking about a choice you know you know there's an there's there's a choice between two people here 
on Tuesday, okay? And I think it's going to be heavy on your mind. You have a soulmate connection, but staying in your safety zone is pretty prominent here, okay? You may be being overly cautious. It's like your heart is saying one thing, but, you know, maybe you have some sort of loyalty to somebody in your past that you are committed to, all right? Or maybe you're just moving too fast into something, because this is moving too fast. You definitely need to slow down. I do see a soulmate connection in you, you know, uh, get deepening a bond with somebody on Tuesday, on Wednesday. This is Wednesday the 13th. So that's deepening a bond with somebody that you are in harmony with. This is, uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini, doesn't have to be. Um, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um... Whatever this is, this is a soulmate type of connection where the, you are, you have the same values as this person. Um, you just, maybe you're just falling in love. Maybe there's a deep sexual connection with this person. Either way, there's, there's a level of wanting to move forward. And, and I think you, maybe you're going to be getting together with this person or at least having an intimate conversation. Okay, so that's... Uh, deepening a bond on Tuesday with somebody that you are soulfully connected to um, but needing to make a choice because this is these are both cards of choice you can choose to stay put or you can choose to be with this person so that you could be dealing with somebody that's saying well, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do so let's talk about Thursday now Thursday you there's relationship problems and why 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 is this happening? Why is this happening? Well, you know, we have a relationship. We have a rocky relationship. We have two people that are not on the same page, and there's obviously another opportunity for love here. So you have to learn to follow your heart, okay? So there's a level of depression and feeling ashamed or feeling in a state of despair um, because you're not going after the relationship that you wished for. There's, a, there's not following your dreams, so, on um, Thursday, uh, you know, you, there could be talks of a breakup or splitting or moving or something like that. There's no harmony here. Um, this isn't what I want. Um, there's no, I'm not happy anymore. So, Thursday, it looks as though... Uh, it's not a day of, uh, it's not the most joyful day, put it that way, because the relationship is not on the same page. It's not all that you dreamed of, and you're dreaming of something else. So Thursday, there could be talks of, of separating, okay? Just, just saying, I'm being honest with you. Um, this isn't this isn't the ultimate happiness anymore. This isn't what making, this isn't making me happy. Um... And the person that you're dealing with could say to you, why this? Why Why now? Why, 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 why? Somebody may be asking you why. Why don't you want to be in this relationship on Thursday? You know, uh, what about the kids? Or what about the family? Or what about the dreams that we had? Or whatever. If somebody's not, somebody's dreams have changed. Okay? Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign, by the way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is very attractive to you. You're, you're uh, very attracted to this person. Um, anyhow, so I think that there's somebody else that you may be tied to that you need to break free from. And so that's what the struggle is. Anyway, so let's talk about Friday. Friday, this is discontent, sad, missing an opportunity. It's like whoever you're dealing with right now may be trying to get your attention. Maybe maybe they're trying to um, open you up or get, trying to get you to change your mind. Or, you know, they're trying to woo you or they're trying... Re on, this is Friday. It, lo it looks to me like somebody is trying to um, get you to change your mind, but you're not interested. You're just not interested. You're not happy there. You're not happy in this situation. If you're not happy, you're not happy. It's not like you can just make it happen. If you're not happy, you're not happy. So I feel like I feel like Friday, this is a level of unhappiness, discontent, 
feeling at a loss. There's somebody that wants your attention and you're just not interested. Now we got the moon reversed. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. That could be anybody. We have a we have a fire sign here. We have a Gemini here. Um, but this is uh, seeing the truth, accepting the truth, revealing the truth, the truth coming out, the secrets being revealed. You know, whoever you're dealing with knows. They know that you're not interested in them, but they're unwilling to let you go for some reason. So I feel like on Friday you will be speaking the truth and whoever you're dealing with may not want to accept it. I don't think they want to accept it. I feel like this is a reality check. I feel, feel like um, there's been some self-deception. Whoever you're dealing with doesn't want to believe that you don't want them, so they keep trying on Friday. Um, Saturday, options, options. Um, now you notice this is be careful what you choose. There's consequences. There's consequences for your choice. What you own owns you. Choose wisely. So on Saturday, you're going to be receiving some communication. The power is going to be in your hands based on the facts. So you are going to have the power to make a choice based on what you want on Saturday. You're going to be presented with a choice. Somebody may say to you, what do you want? You may be receiving some communication from somebody that says, hey, you need to make up your mind. Do you want me or not? That could be the case. Or it's you, you know, realizing, because this is an awakening, an epiphany, realizing that you need to make a choice. You know, you want something else. You have other options. Saturday is about exploring your options and making a choice based on the facts. Based on the truth. The truth, because the truth comes out here. And this is making a choice based on the truth. Okay? So, Sunday. Uh, you, you know, Sunday, this is emotional. It's going to be an emotional day. You could be dealing with somebody who still wants to work on it. I feel like you've got somebody here that wants to keep you bound, right? They want to keep you down. They don't want you to move on. That's what we're dealing with. And I think that your heart is someplace else. And I feel like, you know, it's a very emotional day because whoever you're dealing with is putting in a lot of effort. They're trying really, really hard to uh, turn this around, but you can't, if you, if you don't love somebody, if you're not in love with them, you're not in love with them. Um, this is a lack of love, emotional discontent, and it's all over in this reading. So we have somebody here that is really, really not happy and they're blocking their emotions and they're shutting down emotionally while the other person is, is trying to put in effort, you know, trying to prove themselves, but the other person isn't in love. Okay. So I feel as though, um, Sunday, it's going to, there's going to, you may have somebody that, you know, you may be emotional because you know, this person is making it hard for you. They're making it hard for you to follow your heart. So Sunday, I feel like you may, maybe you're going to bury yourself in some sort of job around the house or some other job or whatever to bury your feelings because whoever you're dealing with just won't give up. Um, so anyway, I feel as though this week you are going to have to make a decision. This guy is very decisive. You are going to have to make a decision based on the truth, based on the facts, based on what your heart wants. You have a couple of options here. I think one of person really, really doesn't want to let you go, but you're not in love with that person. And I think that, you know, um, you may feel that you've been taken advantage of for quite some time by this person who has a really big ego. This person is loud. They're boastful. They're annoying to you. Or, you know, whatever. And you got this other option now. And I feel by the end of the week, you know, it's going to be overly emotional because your heart is bleeding. It's like, you know, this isn't what I want. And it's like, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I feel like um, whoever you're dealing with may play, put on a guilt trip. Okay, they try, may try to make you feel guilty. Um, but you have to be honest with your, yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful with yourself. If you have 
desire to be with somebody else. It's not fair to you or the person that is holding on to you. So anyway, I feel like this week is about putting in effort to follow your heart, even if it means somebody else um, gets a reality check. Good luck. <laughs>